Nerds! Welcome to Nerd Magic. Time to get nerd up. All right, I'm going to show you nerds how to speed up your Android device to Google Pixel type of speed. Right now, I will be demonstrating this on my LG V20. And keep in mind, your phone has to be rooted in order for this to work. Let's go to the Google Store, the Google Play Store. And you want to download this app first and foremost. Kernel Adieu to <laughs> If that's how you pronounce it. Click on it like what I just did and simply click install. Alright, it's gonna take a few seconds here to install. Alright. Alright, it's done. Once it's done, then you wanna make sure you look for this other app. Alright, just type this what I'm looking for right here. It's L S P E E D L Speed. And again, I can't stress this out again. Your phone must be rooted for this to work. And it'll work on any Android device. So just simply click download and install the L Speed app. It will only take a few seconds as well and you guys are going to love how fast your phone is going to move after this. Alright, and as you see mine is finished. Uh, Alright, so once you have everything finished downloaded, just simply go to the Kernel Auditor app is what I'm doing. <laughs> click on it. Alright, it's going to ask you, Super User is going to ask you a permission. I just click Grant. Alright, it's just loading up. <laughs> take a few seconds here all right just click on the three lines to the upper left is what I did then look for kernel CPU is where you want to go click on that and make sure you follow these steps right here it's very simple all you have to do right here on the CPU governor set it to interactive and go down to the other CPU part and CPU governor once more set that also to interactive all right, once you have that set, click Apply on Boot. All right, and then, and then, <laughs> and then we're just gonna actually go to the other app right now, which is L Speed. All right, click Grant. Wait for it to load up, get started. It's just gonna go through the welcome nonsense. All right, it flew through that real quick. Oh, it's, oh that's some more, all right, enjoy L, L Speed. All right, click OK. Alright, and this is actually the very first stuff that you will be seeing once you get into the app. Alright. Okay, so once you download, install the app and you bypass all that welcome nonsense, this is what you want to do. Set it up exactly as how I have mine set up. I've already did everything already. Follow, ex Set yours up exactly as mine. First, kill Meteor Server. Kernel Sleeper's Optimization on. System tweaks, fast boot enable, flag tuner enable, improved scrolling enable, liquid smooth UI enable, assertive display enabled. Alright, just set everything like this. Debugging option, disable debugging enable, disable kernel panic enable. Alright, that's in main tweaks. Then you go to CPU tuner, as what I'm doing. Scroll down. CPU optimizer, enable that also. Make sure you have everything set like that. We're going to skip battery. Just go to L not, Lnet Optimizer. Set your net buffer to big. Real tweaks to enable. Net TCP tweaks enabled. Lnet Optimization. Faster streaming enabled as well. Alright, let's go back. We're going down to IO tweaks. Alright, storage IO tweaks enabled. The schedule tune I mean enable. SD tweak enable. IO boost enable. IO extended queue enable. Partition remount enabled. Set everything up like that as well. Virtual memory. Alright, as you see, arm killer gotta be enabled. And you wanna make sure cache allocation is set on media. And that's pretty much it for this pad. Leave everything else how it is. Alright, then we're gonna go to RAM manager. After virtual memory, we're going to go RAM Manager and set RAM Manager to Multitasking. Come out of that, go to Cedar, and just leave this on default. If it's not on default, set it to default. And in Cleaner, you want to make sure you clean your junk files first. It's just a best practice. I got 44 kilobytes. Let's delete that. Wipe your cache partition and wipe Dalvik cache. And right here, I have my Run Cleaner on boot enable. Your preference on that. Alright, F stream, you want to go to that next and scroll down. And you want to set run F stream on boot to enable. Make sure you got that on. And then the next thing you want to do is go to backup. Just save a backup of it of it. So I'm gonna type in nerd magic for my backup name. I mean that's pretty obvious, right? Nerd magic, let's get that in. 
as you see. Holy shit, I put nerd magic. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, that's okay. That's okay. All right, so pretty much that's the setting that you definitely want to make sure you do. And then once you get that done, just restart your phone. All right, I'm restarting my phone right now. It will take a few seconds. So, yeah, be patient. I'm back, guys. All right, and when you come back, you're still in the upper left, a little notification there that the kernel auditor is applying the settings. It'll just take a few seconds to apply that. And then the executing script will do the same as well. All right, and once completed, um, it's pretty much done there. You've pretty much set your phone up. It should be moving at least the Google Pixel speed or very identical. So that's it, guys. Don't forget to love and subscribe, share the video, and have, us, have yourself an awesome day. I love you guys. Bye-bye.